Breaking Dem Congresswoman busted stealing from woman on flight home by Sassy Liberty for FreedomDaily.com. Well, here we go again, folks. The woman with one of the lowest IQs in Congress strikes again, and scandal-ridden United Airlines is right smack in the middle. A passenger on an airline flight scheduled to fly from Houston to Washington, D.C. is publicly calling out United, accusing the airlines of forcing her to give up her first-class seat to U.S. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, when she complained, the airline threatened to remove her from the plane. Jean Marie Simon is a 63-year-old attorney and private school teacher. She used 140,000 frequent flyer miles on December 3rd to purchase her first-class tickets, intended to take her Washington, D.C. to Guatemala and back home for Christmas. When it came time to board the last leg of her flight home from George Bush Intercontinental Airport on December 18th, after a roughly hour-long weather delay, Simon said the gate attendant scanned her paper ticket and told her it was not in the system. The attendant then asked, did you cancel your flight? Simon replied, no, I just want to go home. Apparently, the fact that she pre-purchased seat uh, apparently did not matter. She was told her seat 1A was already taken. Simon was then given a $500 voucher and reseated in Economy Plus Row 11. Simon states she later learned that Jackson Lee was the person her uh, pre-purchase seat was given to and accused the Congresswoman of receiving preferential treatment. United Airlines denies the accusation of showing preference. After the flight was delayed, Simon said she saw Jackson Lee board with a flight attendant before the other passengers. She said she did not know who the congresswoman was until another passenger told her. Upon boarding, Simon went to the front of the plane to see who had claimed her pre-purchased seat and snapped a photo of the congresswoman in her reserved seat. She then posted it on social media stating, Sheila Jackson Lee in seat 1A and the one I paid for dearly and the one United gave her, without my consent or knowledge, fellow congressman on same flight said she does it repeatedly at United. Really? Sheila Jackson paid for dearly and the uh, United gave her the seat without my consent. After snapping the picture, Simon went back to her seat. A flight attendant then came and sat down next to her and asked if she was going to be a problem on the flight. Wow! In response to Simon's accusations that she was shown preferential treatment, Jackson Lee claimed Simon only targeted her because I was an African-American woman. Meanwhile, United Airlines de uh, denies they showed a preference at all. The Aristocratos, here's the question. Who is paying the Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee and her colleagues to keep flying back and forth in first class? I guarantee it's not them, so... What secret fund of taxpayer cash pays for members of Congress to drink champagne and eat lobster regularly? Absolutely. Good question. Actually, the teacher, Jean Marie Simon, had already paid for the first class seat. Did Jackson Lee just walk on board the plane to take the already paid for seat? Yeah, good question. United is claiming Simon's seat was given up after she canceled her flight through United Airlines' online app. United issued a statement stating, After thoroughly examining our electronic records, we found that upon receiving a notification that flight 788 was delayed due to weather, the customer appears to have canceled her flight from Houston to Washington, D.C. within the United mobile app. As part of the normal pre-boarding process, gate agents began clearing standby and upgrade customers, including the first customers on the wait list for an upgrade. Do you believe that? No. Simon vehemently denies that she canceled her ticket, stating that she has been a United customer for more than a decade and part of their Gold Elite Club. She also states the Washington Post refused to report the incident, claiming ambiguity. 
as to what occurred after she sent the reporter a screenshot of the United website showing only one inactive reservation, a flight to Houston in August to visit her daughter that she had to cancel because of Hurricane Harvey. United says the cre uh, screenshot would not show the December 18 flight as canceled because Simon did eventually end up taking the flight. So they're giving her a runaround in, uh, in a roundabout way. Teacher, her, uh, David Knight here from uh, InfoWars there. Teacher who purchased uh, first class ticket got bumped out of first by United on second part of trip to give seat to Congresswoman uh, Sheila Jackson Lee. Washington uh, Post refused to carry story. Sheila Jackson Lee played victim race uh, card. Yeah, Daily Mail UK uh, reported on that. The teacher said she was so distraught by how the airline treated her that after she arrived home, she wrote a letter to the CEO, Oscar Munoz, and posted it on social media stating it is absurd to claim that someone traveling home for the holidays would suddenly and inexplicably cancel their flight on the second leg of a trip. It's just impossible to suspend disbelief and swallow that story that I canceled my flight, she said. Simon has asked for a formal written apology. Others on the flight have verified Simon's story and claim to have witnessed similar behavior from Jackson Lee on previous occasions. I've seen Lee and IAH cutting in line and rudely taking advantage of her status before United knows she will play the race card if she isn't treated like royalty, so they just give in. They don't care about a hardworking teacher versus a privileged idiot, one person tweeted. Jackson Lee has issued a statement as of Saturday afternoon about the incident, attempting to play the race card, stating, I asked for nothing exceptional or out of the ordinary and received nothing exceptional or out of the ordinary. Since this was not any fault of mine, the way the individual continued to act appeared to be upon reflection because I was an African-American woman. Get a walk off that trip. Seemingly an easy target along with the African-American flight attendant who was very, very nice. This saddens me. Yeah, because you got caught, that's why it saddens you, especially at this time of year, given all of the things we have to work on to help people. Yeah, you really did a good job helping people. But in the spirit of this season and out of the sincerity of my heart, if it is perceived that I had anything to do with this, I am kind enough to simply say sorry. Simon also denied any suggestions that she was a racist in this situation, stating, I had no idea who was in my seat. When I complained at the gate that my seat had been given to someone else, there is no way you can see who is in a seat from inside the terminal. Excellent point. Not your best side, Sheila. By the way, her name is Jean Marie Simon, and she uses Miles to purchase the seat you stole from her. You should be ashamed of yourself. She looked like Maxine Waters there, to tell you the truth. However, Jackson uh, Lee's uh, past history seems to support Simon's version of events. One person said he had witnessed Lee cutting in line and rudely taking advantage of her status before. He claimed that United knows Lee, who would play the race card if she isn't treated like royalty, according to the standard reports from back in 1995 when Lee came to Washington, D.C., uh, surfaced with claims she was routinely chauffeured to all locations, even if the trip was as little as one block in a government car at the taxpayer's expense. Wow. You see how much dirt is coming out? How much corruption and abuse of the system is coming out? Got voucher only by insisting United threatened to remove me from the plane to take for taking photo. United manager called me at home, said United behavior at gate slash or on plane contra United training, said taking photos is illegal and uh, and aid United will investigate to see 
who did this to me, okay? Imagine if you, if United told a black woman you're going to be a problem in response to her seat being given to white congressmen. Never fly at United. They stole, admitted by CEO section, uh, section 2006, our uh, skis. We visited their warehouse, all open, no locks. They paid us immediately after our investigation. Mm -hmm. United Airlines has experienced a number of public relations nightmares with relation to its customer service or lack thereof, the most notorious of which involved Dr. David Dow in April of 2017, I remember that, where a security personnel forcibly dragged Dow off a plane to make room for United crew members on a flight from Chicago to Louisville. Dow refused to give up his seat and was left beaten and bloody as a result. The incident was caught on a cell phone video and posted to social media where United rece received uh, extensive backlash after it promptly went viral. Uh, well, don't fly United. There you go. Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. Are you going to be a problem, really? And the other guy, they beat him up. Can you imagine? Wow. Wow. And she plays the race card. You can see, you know what I'm saying? The idiot. That's what, that's what a real idiot is. Yeah, exactly. And yet they have government jobs uh, and, they claim, uh, and they claim the racist thing. Yeah, you wouldn't be in your job if it was a racist thing. And other people have come forward and stated that, yeah, she abuses the system if she's not treated like royalty. Well, excuse me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.